you lose your breasts and you're going through treatment, you so often don't feel sexy, you don't necessarily feel feminine. Dana really makes a line that helps women to feel empowered and feel sexy. It's extremely important uh, having the lingerie because you know our body changes drastically, uh, and you know you go to a normal lingerie store and things do not fit us the way that these clothes here fit us. So even though we might be scarred underneath, we can still feel beautiful and like a woman. You know, we might not have breasts or we might have folks make books, but we still want to feel sexy. I mean, we're still women and we want to still feel like, you know, we are a beautiful person. I'm Madam President Shea Sharp and I am a two-time breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer at age 26 and I had a bilateral mastectomy, both breasts removed, one week before my 27th birthday. How could that happen? <laughs> I don't have boobs and I thought God and I were even. <laughs> but he doesn't seem to care about that. and a mere year later, I was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. I've had progression several times. Um, I'm currently having progression and switching up my routine for chemo, but hopefully this one's gonna work, and if not, then maybe we can jump to another medication. Oh my God, it means so much to take part in this show. This is my third year um, partnering with Anna Ono. Every year we kind of lose some of the girls who were here the year prior. But it's just amazing to still be standing after all these years. It was such an honor to walk into the show today, um, to have pre-vibers, early stagers, metastatic. And this is an excellent opportunity for all of us to stand together for one common cause, and that is to cure breast cancer. We just saw the show Fearless from Anna Ono and Metaviver here. We had 32 patient models, all pre-vivers, survivors, thrivers, and metavivers here to join together as a community to make a difference together and find further treatments for research for metastatic stage 4 breast cancers. We have to figure out a cure so that this becomes more of a chronic disease and not, you know, something that actually kills people. So we really need to have as much fundraisers as possible. We might have cancer, but we're still alive, and we have to create memories daily because anything can happen any day. So we have to be positive, and we have to really believe that there is hope. <laughs>